This video is brought to you by Clusterfix. We do a variety of uh, instrument cluster repairs on many makes and models. And uh, today we're going to just demonstrate the removal of an instrument cluster from a 2004 Chrysler Sebring. And uh, a lot of these models are similar from 97 to 04. Um, most styles have a black gauge face with regular incandescent lighting. Um, this style has the electroluminescent. It's a limited version, convertible. So it has the white gauge faces and it has a glow style backlighting and uh, this is a problem these can experience where you lose your electroluminescent lighting and climate controls may lose air conditioning um, and such like that. So this is a video to show you how to get these out of here. Um, really you only need a couple tools to do that and one of them is a short Phillips screwdriver um, or a 7 millimeter socket with a, a small ratchet, quarter inch ratchet. And another tool that's handy is a uh, plastic trim tool and you can get these off a tool truck or a parts store usually uh, without any trouble so you want this to get these trim pieces off here without marking them up and damaging them and uh, the screws are already out of this model so we don't have to uh, s slow down the video process but you'll get the idea of what we need to do here so one of the things you first things you do is take the, the uh, fuse panel cover off the side and let expose the screw. And the next thing we can deal with is removing the uh, trim panel that holds the climate control in. And it's like it's just held in by clips. There's no screws, so it'll just pop out of there. And there's two connectors which I've already unplugged here and here and you'll just squeeze the tabs these are the release tabs so you can squeeze them to get it out and uh, the next thing you can do is there's a screw right here that will expose this screw and you take that screw out so you can pop this piece of trim off you take this screw out so you can take this piece of trim off and the same with over here this is a mirror control switch you pop this piece off, just held in by clips once again, and the connector right here with the, um, the release is actually right here on this one. So you can pull that out, and you'll find another screw here, and another screw here, and there's another screw over here, and I also took uh, one out from the bottom that allow me to pull this knee bolster loose. There's another screw I didn't take out that you can if you want to totally remove it. I've got 10 Phillips screws total that I took off from the uh, dash components here and there's four more that hold the instrument cluster in so but there's only 10 that hold the trim panels and all the parts in. So then from there you just work your way around once you've got all the screws out this thing will just pop off pretty easily. You'll unplug the clock which is a connector right there so that comes out easily. I set these parts aside. And then there's two screws on the bottom. And there's two more screws right on the sides here that hold the instrument cluster in. And from there, it's very easy. Um, I just make sure I have the key off when I'm pulling them out. The connector is mounted in the dash, so there's no unplugging of it. As soon as you pull it, it comes out. You can, you can roll it forward move it out the side and now you have it in your hand and this unit's already been repaired. Um, if you'd like to send yours in for repair you can visit us on our website at www.clusterfix.com or give us a call at 509-366-9009. Um, we also service the newer style from 07 to 09 Sebring, um, 06 to 09 Caliber, and 07 to 11 Avenger that have the new style um, electroluminescent lighting as well. And uh, we also do the 99 to 04 Chrysler 300s that are similar to this design here, 300Ms that would have the electroluminescence. Um, the newer ones, they have uh, we have updated components in there that are heavy duty. Um, so you'll get a lot longer life out of your cluster. You still you still have your dimming feature and everything. Um, so if you are experiencing uh, electroluminescent issues with your Dodge or Chrysler vehicles, um, once again our website is clusterfix.com 
Thank you.